is that the wiring harness is not the same. So, I have to remove that on the new one. probably wondering what I'm going to put in now so let's kind of talk about what it is I'm going to do and then I'll show you um, so my biggest complaint that I had was actually from my wife she wanted her foot space back she also wanted the entire thing just out of the way when it wasn't in use and after being in there for a little while, I kind of fully agree. So, um, shortly after the launch, I decided to buy a replacement for the Midland MXT500. So, um, this, I even peel off the sticker there. This is actually going to be um, sold off to one of my friends and you'll see that later on um, to replace it I went out and bought another radio it's by Midland the it's pretty much the same radio except for it's not waterproof and um, it's not programmable the same way um, but it also can be a little bit more compact. What I have is a Midland MXT 575. I went with this mainly because I can hide the main unit and have the handset control everything and when I'm not using it, I can unplug it. That's what we're gonna get installed, which is also why this cable will not work. As you can see, that's a waterproof connection. Waterproof connection. The cable that we wired in does not have a waterproof connection. And because of that, it had to be swapped out. So, wait just a second, and I will get this box open. As you can see, both of these are about the same size. The main difference being that there's no interfacing buttons, knobs, anything on the front of this one, while everything is on that. And that's because on the microphone, or handset, depending on how you uh, call it, on the 
575, 575, everything is included right here, rather than right there. So I can put this right up my dash and it's good to go. The other thing is it's just an RJ45 connector, so typical ethernet like connector. So that will make this much more modular and I can route a cable to put it in and connect it much easier. As for the rest of the pieces, um, I do not plan on using them. Um, things like antenna um, cable, antenna that comes with it, uh, this here sticky mount, which I have to say, Midland, um, this d doesn't stick very well to certain things, uh, like the inside of dash of an overland gladiator. So, um, next up, finding a home for this. I've seen a few people put it in a few different places. I'm gonna try a couple out, and we will get it installed. Ignore the mess. I have finished installing it. Finding a spot was kind of a pain in the butt. So what I chose was way down here and up tucked underneath there. And I still have a couple wires that are hanging a little low for my liking. But then I also need to put my extension piece in. That extension will go over and has yet to be figured out where I want to put it yet. So I took one of these uh, uh, whatchamacallit, it's, it's, it's like a drawer that goes over the center console. And I took the extension cable and actually routed it inside so that it's hidden out of the way. And then I'll tuck away the rest of the cable behind everything. So this just kind of slides up in here like so. actually be putting some 3M tape and stuff in place to hold it secured down. Uh, but I figured I'd see where I'm going to route this cable. So the idea is that the cable is going to end up going up right behind this carpet, probably around here. Alright, so I have the cable tucked up underneath there. I have it plugged in with the power button on top. And we have power. Alright, well, only one last thing to do. Let's get some ASMR. Like this. There's like no sound. Because it's, uh, yeah. That was unfulfilling. That's the install. Now, hopefully, we will get a uh, bit of a test soon. We're at the new owner's house. You know, go check him out. Are you excited? I am. I'm getting the middle radio permanently now. So I'm having the two-way portable radio. So, Corey is kind enough, he already uh, put the new one in, so this is what I got now. It's just a matter of installing it when the guys get together. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are definitely going to have to watch his video. I'll, uh, I'll link to it once he gets there. Alright, see you guys in the next one.